Hello everyone, welcome to Honoring Tech Corner, the corner of the web where we talk about tech. Apple did a showcase of their uh, new products a couple days ago. I've collected my notes, collected my thoughts, and i like to share them with you. Uh, so, let's get started. Um, now, you know Apple's always fancy on the big transitions and everything? But let's get right into the first product that they uh, introduced, and that was the HomePod Mini. Now, I don't personally use a HomePod or any kind of speaker thing. I don't have a really need for it. But uh, it, it kind of piqued my interest with a lot of the things that, uh, that they were showing off. Uh, I kind of like the new ball design in comparison to the puck or the can design of uh, Google and Amazon's, respectively. Um, the ball design actually really fits well with uh, most modern designs. Um, and the colors really match uh, modern designs as well. So whether you're going on with a black and white, or, or black on white, or a white on black uh, kind of color scheme, you got the uh, space gray or the white variant. Um, and all the functionality is actually kind of uh, kind of neat. Um, well, it's nothing that your iPhone can't do anyway. Um, but yeah, it's actually kind of a neat thing if, uh, you got like a family full of, full of people that use this thing, uh, it's, it's pretty good for 99 bucks. Um, but not, nothing I would be personally interested in, to be honest. Uh, but it does look like the, uh, sound quality is going to be increased dramatically, which is going to be a good thing. Um, so we'll see how that goes in the future. The next thing they showed off was 5G. Um, I kind of have a problem with 5G right now with so much of its infancy that only a select few cities, I think the closest one to me is in uh, Toronto, and even that spot, you have to be like downtown in the perfect spot and the perfect intersection in order to get the uh, 5G speeds, other than that you're stuck with LTE. With all their phones coming out, uh, which we'll get to in a moment, uh, they're saying it's up to 4 gigabytes uh, download in ideal conditions. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder what ideal conditions is standing on a lonely corner right underneath the uh, <laughs> underneath the hotspot. I mean, what's ideal conditions? Um, but it's one gigabyte per second in typical conditions, which doesn't sound half bad compared to uh, LTE speed. Even the upload speed, 200 megabits per second in ideal conditions. Again, standing by yourself underneath the uh, <laughs> underneath the hotspot, man. What's ideal conditions? And one thing that kind of grabbed me when they mentioned this is that uh, 5G uses a lot more battery power, um, which is nothing new to be honest, but uh, they are putting it in their software when uh, 5G speeds are needed. Like when your phone's in your pocket, it, it drops it down to LTE to save battery power. So that's a good thing for battery life. Although, think about it now, they never really mentioned battery life uh, throughout this entire thing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's move on to the next topic, shall we? Alright, so when they started talking about their phones, the first thing they introduced was, uh, the iPhone 12. Um, and the price starts at, uh, 79 uh, US. Um, it's actually kind of a good looking phone. The new design reminds me of the 5 and 5S. Um, the only problem I have with it, though, is a glass back. I mean... Who remembers the, four, the uh, iPhone 4S? That was easily crackable, both sides. Uh, let's hope it's not that way now. And they introduced a uh, lot of good uh, uh, colors for it too. The black, white, product red, green, and uh, blue. Um, actually, the blue looked really, really good, to be honest. Uh, the green is more of a teal. But, you know adds variety for people who are looking for a different color than your standard black, white, and red. Yeah, they announced it was going to be, let's see my notes here, 11% thinner, 15% smaller, 16% lighter than the iPhone 11. Uh, pretty soon we're just going to be looking at a screen. <laughs> like, literally, just a screen. <laughs> um, yeah, they're coming out with the uh, new uh, display. Uh, it's called uh, Super Retina XDR. And, um, uh, it has a 2 million to 1 contrast ratio on their 6.1 uh, 6 inch display. 
it looks really, really good for content viewing. Uh, especially when it has uh, 1200 nit brightness, HDR, and H HLG support. Um, which we've seen in a lot of televisions lately uh, with HDR10, a lot of monitors. The resolution for the iPhone 12 is going to be 2532 by... Uh, one uh, 1170 which is actually uh, a nice increase compared to the old one which is uh, 1792 by 828 which brings the PPI or pixel per inch to 160 rather than 326 um, and I don't have to apologize from here on out if I keep looking over here I'm just looking at my notes <laughs> and they're coming out with a new glass it's called uh, ceramic shield glass it's supposed to be, as they claim, up to four times tougher. Now, with the price of their phones, I am not going to buy a phone for the purpose of destroying it. If Apple wants to give me one, that's that, that's fine. Contact me. <laughs> they also announced the A14 Bionic, which is built on the new uh, uh, five nanometer process. And it has a six core CPU with two high performance cores and six uh, efficiency cores which sounds like it's going to help with the battery life um, I'm just hoping it's better with power um, and they're also claiming up to 50% faster than all other smartphones uh, bald claim there <laughs> um, can't wait to see the numbers the A14's uh, GPU is also a 4 core um, also claiming a 50% increase again I'd like to see the numbers the new neural engine, which has been introduced in older phones, now has 16 cores and uh, is now up to 80% faster. Now, these percentages, to me, don't really mean much, but uh, because I haven't tested out all the older phones, I'm still running tests on my iPhone SE. In fact, I'm using it for a camera. <laughs> um, so should be interesting to see what the numbers are actually going to be uh, when the phone actually comes out. They've built up this whole thing about gaming now. We know that uh, Epic and Apple are just headbutt locked into a uh, dual legal battle. So if they, uh, if they announced Fortnite, I think Jaws would have dropped. But uh, they didn't. Uh, League of Legends is actually getting their own mobile game. Um, and I want to be honest here. It does look good, but it looks like it's uh, the PC version on medium settings, not full. So gaming might be hit or miss on these on these new phones. Um, but again, we'll have to see when the phone comes out. The new dual camera setup. Um, I'll leave the specs here on the screen. Pause if you need to. Um, top camera is a 12 me uh, megapixel ultra wide. And the bottom one is a 12 megapixel wide camera. Again, not, nothing we haven't seen on the iPhone 11. But apparently they have been upgraded. Um, I don't own an 11. Never have. So if I do any picture comparisons, it will be to the SE 2nd gen. So there might be a stark contrast here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when the new phones come out. If I decide to get one, that is. Something actually kind of exciting me with, uh, with these new phone launchers. MagSafe. Now, if you haven't heard that term before, it used to be on the old MacBooks. Uh, the first MacBook I've ever owned, actually the only one I've ever owned, was from 2006 and had the MagSafe connector. That saved the laptop from falling off my desk so many times. Um, and to see it being implemented in this way on a phone, that's kind of a deal breaker, to be honest. I never knew that the uh, iPhone SE 2 had wireless charging until I decided to try it out about a month later. Um, but yeah, MagSafe really looks kind of a cool thing, although I'll never use it as a wallet. That part just seems bad to me. <laughs> you know, somebody just comes up, clip, con. Buyers, please beware, unless you're coming from an older iPhone to a newer iPhone. Um... The, the, the new phones won't come with a lightning charging cable as it did before. Um, it will come with this new lightning to USB-C. Although I don't know why they just didn't uh, 
uh, didn't just include a USB-C charger to begin with. Um, would have made things a hell of a lot easier. Um, but it won't come with uh, the lightning charger and it won't come with uh, the little power brick. Um, so I guess that's kind of the odd thing. But yeah, if you're coming from an older iPhone like I would be, then yeah, you'll be alright. And the next thing they introduced is the iPhone 12 mini. Now, in my previous segment, um, I did make fun of how they were making it smaller, but yeah, they made it smaller. <laughs> um, and it starts at $699 US, which is kind of steep for a mini. I remember years ago, I think 2013, 2014, um, Samsung came out with the S3 mini and the S4 mini. Those phones are great, and they're only 130 bucks Canadian. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know why $100 off automatically gets you a microphone. A lot of microphone, a micro phone. <laughs> Man, they should just call it the iPhone micro. So yeah, the resolution of this new phone is going to be 2340 by 1080 so essentially it's going to be their 1080p screen. Um, and it comes with all of the Super Retina XDR experiences from the bigger phone, just smaller, I think it's 5.4 inches. Um, which is alright. Um, could be, could be worse. Could be using last gen's tech. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the exact same as the 12, just smaller. Now the next one is kind of a big deal. Um, the iPhone 12 Pro is the direct successor to the 11, 11 Pro. And it actually starts at uh, $999 US. Uh, and they also included the Pro Max at $1,099. Now, there's gonna be subtle differences I'll point out, but uh, um, the notes I got are pretty much for both phones, so the Max variant, uh, the Max specific stuff, I'll mention if it is or not. Uh, it comes in new colors. Um, they call uh, they call them uh, elegant silver, rich, uh, rich deep graphite, stunning gold, and Pacific blue. Now again, the blue looks really nice, and it comes with uh, stainless steel bands and a glass back. Again. Remember the 4S? <laughs> they also include MagSafe and XDR as well. So you're getting kind of the full package, higher price phone. But the 12 Pro comes with a 6.1 inch display and the Max comes with a 6.7 inch display. So it really holds up to the Pro level of everything. Um, the resolution for both phones is the same at uh, 2778 by 1284, which brings the PPI up to uh, 458. And there's one additional camera, and that is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Now, I'm not a big camera guy, so I'll just leave the specs up here. This is kind of a big deal for me. Um, the camera I'm recording on now it's on Apple's, one of Apple's cheaper iPhones right now. And it's recording at 720p, but I have to help scale it. The Pro models come with 10-bit uh, HDR, as well as Dolby Vision, uh, Dolby Vision HDR at, at 4K 60 frames per second. Think about that for a second. <laughs> 4K looks like something that, uh, that would have been used for the movies at least from the trailer. The, the only other upgrade they made was LiDAR. Actually, the first time I ever heard of LiDAR, uh, which is actually a depth sensing technology. So if you're playing out a room, you would scan your room and then you would place objects all around and plan it that way. Um, but the first time I ever heard of LiDAR was this guy was uh, scanning old battlefields. Uh, like World War II battlefields and um, he was able to get a 3D scan of the whole area just by using a camera I mean now we got that on a phone that is ridiculous so that seems to be it for the 
conference uh, review and retrospective, my thoughts on it, whatever the title of this video is going to be. <laughs> Here's the new lineup, and uh, it'll be up to you to um, what you choose to be your next iPhone. I think I'm going to be sticking with the SE2 for a while. That does it for us uh, today. Um, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit the, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. If you didn't like it, the like button, uh, the unlike button, this dislike button is down there somewhere. Man, I can't speak today. And that'll do it for us uh, today. Have a good week, everybody.